What's going on everyone? Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having an amazing day. So it's an exciting time for those of us interested in the Galaxy S24 Ultra. For those of you that ordered in the US, you should start seeing your devices as early as tomorrow. Mine should be here by 7 p.m. Folks in other regions are already starting to get them uh, as early as yesterday. Super exciting to see Samsung get these first orders shipped out so early. That's great. So this video is going to be a non-hype video. This is for those of you that are kind of on the fence about getting the S24 Ultra. And what we have here is seven reasons why I think you might want to consider getting it. So let's go ahead and dive into it. The first one is an obvious one, like Captain Obvious. And this is the main reason why even if I didn't have a YouTube channel, and I'm being very sincere, very genuine, if I did not have a YouTube channel, I would absolutely 110,000% upgrade my S23 Ultra regardless. Absolutely. And that brings us to our first reason. The first reason for me, the big one, the second I knew I would upgrade, the second I saw this, is that new flat screen. I know some of you prefer the looks and the aesthetics of this curved screen, but being a diehard Note user and now using these recent Galaxy devices, you know the aesthetics might be nice, but as far as the user experience, no thank you. No thank you. I'll take the flat screen all day long over this. Better S Pen support, much easier to scroll on the side of the device on either side, much easier to install screen protectors and actually have them stay on. And most of us that have tried out flat screens versus these curved ones kind of prefer the feel of them as well. And also keep in mind too, with the S24 Ultra, we're getting that new anti-reflective screen. And I know there's plenty of comparison videos already out there. It looks awesome. I'm super stoked about that. Cause I mean, let's look at this screen here if I can get it in the light. It is very reflective, as you can see. All right, the next reason that I have is because we're finally reaching the full maturity of this 200 megapixel main shooter. And since the introduction of that, now onto the S23 Ultra, the pictures are starting to get a little bit more natural looking. And I think we're gonna see a lot more of that with the S24 Ultra. And the thing to keep in mind is we have a lot of rumors of a new 440 megapixel main shooter coming out on the S25 Ultra as well as an updated 50 megapixel telephoto. That's gonna be two new camera lenses with sensors when that S25 Ultra drops in a year. And I gotta tell you from personal experience from the S3 and Note 3, that's my introduction to Samsung. Those are my first two devices. Historically, at least in my humble opinion, the first year that Samsung releases a sensor camera lens upgrade, it's not really that great. There's a lot of improvements that come via software updates and a lot of improvements and refinements when they add it to future generations, future devices, right? And I feel like we're gonna get the best camera experience that we're gonna get out of that main shooter. Number three is a 2600 brightness when you're outside with the adaptive brightness setting turned on. We're kind of finally reaching a point to where enough's enough. You know, 1750 nits here on the S23 Ultra, it's been serving me pretty well, though I will have to confess, being out here in the California sun, I always have my sunglasses on to protect my eyes. You know, that UV protection and stuff, we gotta have it out here. And it does get tough, even at max brightness, in direct sunlight with sunglasses on, to where I'm having to lift them up from time to time. So now with 2600 nits, we're finally getting here. And yeah, of course, that's not necessarily a reason to upgrade to the S24, I mean, you could wait and it's gonna go up from there. But I think that 2600 is really kind of like the maximum of what we really need outside. And keep in mind as well that upcoming display technology is not gonna be changing much in the mobile area. We have phosphorus OLED and micro LED really taken off in the TV space. PH OLED or the phosphorus OLED, that goes into manufacturing this year. We're gonna see it on TV panels as early as next year. Micro LED is already out on big giant displays. They've been showing prototypes and having those at conferences for the past couple years now. It's kind of old news. So now that technology is gonna be trickling down, but by the time it gets to mobile devices, you'll be probably ready to upgrade your S24 Ultra anyway. The next reason, best in class battery life. Like seriously, I'm gonna put a video up here on the screen from Tech Talk TV. He dropped this a couple days ago. The S24 Ultra beat out the 15 Pro Max and it beat out the S23 Ultra quite handedly. A couple of my friends mentioned there is a couple videos out there that show the uh, 15 Pro Max still coming in the lead, but pretty much everything I've seen shows the S24 Ultra beating it out quite handedly. And while we're talking about this battery life, let's not forget that this year for the S24 Ultra, the early test results are in and we're seeing very, very good performance out of the Exynos chipset this year. That SOC I know is a big concern for those of you in Europe 
And this is like the first year where that chip is really testing well. It's right there with the Snapdragon. And keep in mind, this year with the Snapdragon chipset again, this SOC, we're getting TSMC again. You know, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, which is the best in the business for mobile chips. They make Apple chips. In the last couple of years, they've been making chips for these Samsung flagships. And we're gonna see it again in the S24 Ultra, and the Exynos chip is right there with it. That's awesome. All right, for the next reason, I think we're on number five now. This one's pretty obvious as well, but I think it's pretty awesome that Samsung finally stepped it up in this department, and that is seven generations of OS updates in seven years of security updates. So for a lot of you that are looking to buy this phone, you're gonna get the 24 Ultra and you're looking to land on it, you're gonna be rest assured that you don't have to worry about that stuff. All right, the next reason, I think we're on to number six. In this one, I don't think we should take lightly. We saw a little demo of it in the Galaxy Unpacked event, and that is, I have a real strong feeling, and I'm gonna find this one out early tomorrow. I'll be testing this one out fast. And that is, we should have the best in class camera app experience. I'm not talking about the cameras themselves. I'm talking about the application. Now we have more processing power, more that we're throwing at that 200 megapixel sensor to where the real-time processing and the post-processing is gonna be a lot faster. You know, even though the S23 Ultra is a flagship device, I still find a lot of times when I'm zooming in and out, there's just a lot of delay. Sometimes you'll see a little bit of blurriness and they showed it the Galaxy Unpacked event where it is buttery smooth. And the thing is, I think the camera performance on the S24 Ultra is gonna be better than what we'll see on the S25 Ultra, maybe even the S26. And that's based on the fact that they're slamming those new camera lenses and sensors on there that that camera app's gonna have a harder time to cope with. You now have 440 megapixels, even if you bend it down, right? You lower it to a lower resolution, that's still real-time processing. While you have that viewfinder open of what it has to see while you're zooming and moving the camera around. But for the S24 Ultra, we're gonna be at the end of the life cycle for that 200 megapixel main shooter, you know, a mature setup to where that camera app is gonna interact with it better than something that's gonna bog it down. All right, for this next reason that you might wanna consider the S24 Ultra, it's about the AI processing. Now, I know you're seeing a lot of videos where you're seeing folks saying, you don't need to get the S24 Ultra. All the other devices will be getting the same AI stuff. There's no reason to upgrade. Uh, that's true with an asterisk. So yes, all of the cloud-based features, the AI features, will be trickling down to the other devices, starting with the Z Fold 5, the S23 line, and a couple of the tablets. But here's the thing, those are the cloud-based ones. The S24 Ultra will be the first and the only Samsung device so far that supports the on-device AI processing. And the fact that it can handle that on-device AI processing where the others can't means you're well equipped for this AI stuff for a long time to come. You're more equipped than these other devices that are getting the downgraded AI experience, if you will. This puts you off on a good foot to basically experience the whole experience so you know what parts of AI you like and what you don't. Personally, I'm kind of more excited for the on-device AI stuff. You know, the ability to slow down the video, whereas a lot of you might be more excited by the live translation and other things that are kind of a blend of what's on-device and on-cloud. With these other devices, like this S23 Ultra, you know, for that live translation, is some of it going to be crippled because the data models are local, but then the cloud processing happens. So how are they going to integrate all this together? So you don't have to worry about any of that with the S24 Ultra because you have all the capabilities right out of the gate. Is AI really important to me? No, because we're gonna see this coming to all the devices in the future. But if you're looking to get on the ground with this and you're really curious, you know, it's like curiosity is what this really is all about, right? Because let's be honest about it, we're in beta. We're in early beta for any of this stuff and we're gonna be in beta for the next two to three years. Yeah, you're gonna see lots of stuff saying this and that, and you're gonna see paywalls be introduced by third-party companies. You know, that's them building out their infrastructure and starting to need the means to pay for it. And what they're hoping for is that they provide you, the user, with enough functionality to warrant that paywall, and they don't have that right now. That's why you see Google throwing everything out there for free. That's why you see Samsung throwing out there everything for free. All of this for the time being, because this, this stuff's all in the early stages. We're beta testers right now. So if you want to get in on this early beta testing, S24 Ultra. One more reason, and I think this is actually reason number eight, and this is going to be really cool for a lot of you too, especially for all my fellow tech nerds out there, Wi-Fi 7. We're going from 9.6 gigabits per second 
all the way up to 46 gigabits per second, and that's per client. Not to mention, you're getting a further range, you're getting more thorough put, everything's an upgrade with Wi-Fi 7, and I know what you're thinking. Well, there's no Wi-Fi 7 devices out there. Routers just came out. Sure, the whole point of buying the S24 Ultra and making that investment is so you're ready. You're ready for when you're ready to upgrade in your home. You're ready for when you go to your place of work and they've already upgraded to 7. You're ready to experience the benefits that Wi-Fi 7 is going to offer you. You know, this Wi-Fi 7 stuff's a lot like the AI stuff. We're in the early stages of it. And if you want to get in on the ground floor of this, you know, get off the ground running with Wi-Fi 7 and you plan on doing these upgrades to your home, basically your wireless infrastructure, if you're looking to do that, you'll be ready to go with the S24 Ultra. Let me know what your thoughts are on the S24 Ultra. Is this a mandatory upgrade for you like it is for me? Do you not care about the flat screen? You know, I'm really curious for those of you that like these rounded corners, like what's your reasoning for it? Serious question, not capping or anything or trying to be hurtful. Like I have just never, ever, ever been a fan of this. The case helps, I'll say that, the case has got to stay on. Just a quick video with a few reasons on why you might want to consider upgrading the S24 Ultra. I appreciate your time, as always. Thanks for watching.